morning boys. I hope all of you are healthy and well. I miss you a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to quickly mark task 6.6 .6 with you as if I would have marked it in class. For those of you that need some explanations on the transactions, what you had to do here is you just had to um, complete the following columns. You had to say what the document would have been and the journal would have been for each transaction. So it's not difficult and it contains 10 transactions. The first one says the account of a debtor must be written off as irrecoverable. Now you would know that the document for this would be a journal voucher because if we write a debtor's account off or if as irrecoverable, then we would do it in the GJ. So it would have been journal voucher in the GJ. The second transaction said an owner took merchandise from stock for his own use. If you do this, it would also be in the journal voucher because the owner is not taking money. Okay, so it can't go to the CPJ. Therefore, you write journal voucher also in the general journal. Transaction number three said interest charged on the overdue account of a debtor. If a debtor owes us money and he didn't pay us back in time, then we will charge interest on him. This can't go to the debtor's journal, the DAJ or the CRJ. Therefore, it also goes to the general journal. The fourth transaction said discount allowed to a debtor is cancelled on a dishonored check. Now remember when you cancel a dishonored check, the part that the debtor actually paid us or the amount that was written on the check will be cancelled in the CPJ. However, the amount of discount that we have allowed will be cancelled in the GJ. So once again, journal voucher. This seems like a silly exercise because everything is GJ, but let's go. Then number five, the stationery was debited in error with packing material purchased on credit. Okay, so what happened is in the CJ, we bought stationery, but no, we bought packing materials, but we debited stationery instead of debiting packing materials. This cannot be fixed in the CJ, it's already there. So where do we need to correct this error? In the general journal. So what you would have done if you had to do the general journal is you would credit stationery because it shouldn't be in stationery um, and debit packing materials. Then number six, the loan statement reflected an amount for interest on the loan for the year which is capitalized. Now remember when interest is capitalized we don't pay it out of our bank. It is added to the loan Okay, and that's why it's reflected on the loan statement. So the two accounts will be interest on loan and the loan itself. Therefore, it's not CPJ, but it's GJ. Then number seven, interest earned on the fixed deposit as per the fixed deposit statement. If it's on a fixed deposit statement and not on a bank statement, then it means that the interest was added to the fixed deposit and we didn't receive it yet. In other words, it implies that interest is capitalized, which means that the two accounts affected would have been interest on fixed deposit, deposit which is an income account, and the fixed deposit itself in the general journal. Number eight, interest, no, sorry, the owner took cash from petty cash and gave it to his son who was going on a school outing. Okay, so this would have affected the petty cash journal because actually the owner took money from petty cash and gave it to his son. So it would have been drawings and petty cash. Therefore, I think it's petty cash vouchers. In the petty cash journal. Then number nine, interest on the fixed deposit is reflected on the statement, but it is not capitalized. Now remember, if interest is not capitalized, we would earn it. So then the document could have been the fixed deposit statement, but I think in the end, we would see it in our bank. 
So let's say bank statement. And the money would be earned by us in the CRJ. And then number 10, the monthly debit order payment for the loan taken for the business was deducted from the business's bank account. So if we are paying a debit order to the loan provider, then obviously our bank will be credited and the loan will be debited. So this is a CPJ transaction and it will reflect on the bank statement because it's a debit order. Therefore, bank statement. CPJ.